All right, welcome to Concord Baptist Church Bible Study on this Monday night. I don't know how it's across to you, but we're using our new GoPro. See how it's going to work. And uh, if there's any problems, I believe my uh, wife or daughter will let me know quickly. It's all right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Grace, Heavenly Father, I pray you forgive us our sin, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, I, you know that we're just flesh and blood, and we ask you to help us. Lord, I pray for all those that are sick. Lord, uh, those with cancer. Lord, we pray for Danny Mowry, Lord, that you might touch him and keep him from having to have the surgery. Lord, we know you're able. And Lord, I pray that you watch over uh, my wife and Teresa and and uh, Johnny Gardner and or Johnny Gant and uh, Billy Coates and Lord, we pray for our, Lord, we pray for our president. Lord, we pray you give him strength and wisdom. And Lord, if there was fraud in this election, I pray that you'd manifest it uh, in time for them to flip this thing back over. Thank you for bringing everybody home safely tonight. And we pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. We got the mechanics here tonight singing. family. Okay, girls, you ready? Mm -hmm. We're going to turn it to you. That thing picks up everything, don't it? Yep. Oh, it does. Paul and Luke were taking a trip when the Southland blew softly they boarded a ship. Destination already planned. They were guided by God's mighty hand. But after the ship set sail, they encountered a stormy gale. Well, the sun did not shine, oh, Paul did not whine. He said, I believe God, and I believe God, though the lightning is flashing. I believe God, though the thunder is crashing. I believe God when 
the storm is so past, we'll reach the other side safe at last. For the Lord stood by me in the darkest night. Says we child of mine, everything is alright. We're never alone, we'll make it all home. For I believe God. Long nights past, there'll be storms to face. But we're gonna make it by amazing grace. It's good for each smile, it's good for every trial I've gone through. So I'll keep holding to God's mighty hand. I know one day I'll reach heaven's brim. When I reach the other shore, gonna shout it once more. Said I believe God. And I believe God, though the lightning is flashing. I believe God, though the thunder is crashing. I believe God when the storm is all past We'll reach the other side safe at last For the Lord stood by me in the darkest night Says sweet child of mine, everything is alright We're never alone, we'll make it all home For I believe God No, we're never alone, we'll make it all home For I believe God Amen Thank you, ladies. I'm done with the video. Press the button. What? All right, I could do that. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, you could be turned into Leviticus chapter 14. We'll read through there tonight. And uh, pray for us. We uh, we've got some couple young people uh, interested in doing a Thursday evening Bible study at the church and uh, and having pizza pie or wings or something like that and just sit down at the table and and uh, have a question and answer if they have any questions uh, we'll look them up try to answer them according to the word of God rightly dividing the word of truth and so kind of excited about doing that. And then we'll go right into the uh, Thursday evening Bible study on the uh, line here. Amen. And uh, so we'll pick up that on Thursday night, Lord willing. And also, uh, we have a campground. We hadn't used it in a few years. Had a 6,000 square foot open air building and two restrooms and all and uh had some people staying over there uh one guy let him stay there at a trailer it's not saved and uh he's been there about two or three years now and uh he let some other guy move into one of the rooms in the shed there and i didn't really care for that but anyway long story short we've been praying about what to do with the uh meth heads in this area and i've been trying to figure out what we can do and I mentioned it to someone else and they mentioned that they had some campers or a camper and and uh, maybe we can set some campers up over there and it's going to be getting cold weather and these people laying in the woods and and everything uh, maybe we could reach out to them and try to help them it's, it's not going to be an easy task and when you're dealing with drug addicts uh, the Lord's going to have to be the one to intervene to help them. We want to be there to extend a helping hand. And uh, we're thinking about that. We're praying about it now and trying to figure out if that's something we really want to do. Uh, I would like to see the Lord reach them. And you got to make contact with them in order for them to reach them. So maybe helping them out with a warm place to sleep at night and, uh, and a meal. Uh, and hopefully give them the gospel that maybe some of them would turn around. Even if only one out of ten or one out of a hundred turn around, it'd be worth it. Uh, one of the fellows that work for us, I just married him uh, Saturday. Him and his wife are up in the mountains right now, but uh, he was hooked on meth. And uh, he worked for us and uh back when we had the shootout uh 
the police took down some information, had his name, and, and uh, he had a warrant out for child support. And so they took him to jail. And while he was in jail, we took care of his, uh, paid his uniforms and his tool bill and put money on his card in the prison and and paid for his uh, phone call. And when he got back out, he came to work. And, of course, he went right back to the same crowd. And uh, anyway, we had to fire him. And uh, I about gave up praying for him, but Brother Tommy, he said he kept praying for him. And uh, one day the guy came and knocked at his door, told him that he'd gotten saved and he was off the drugs. And he went back and he paid all his back money that he owed the state. He paid off all his bills. <clears throat> He got his driver's license back and everything. And he asked for his job back. And so he was given his job back. And uh, he's one of the best workers. I mean, he's made some mistakes, but he's when he comes into work, he works. And he stays right at it. And uh, anyway, he met this girl. They ended up, I ended up marrying him uh, Saturday evening. And uh, hopefully they'll have a long and lasting marriage. And the children, she had two children, and he's got a daughter. And I'm telling you what, there's some beautiful little children. And uh, there's a picture of somebody that was hooked on meth and other drugs that we, I just about give up hope on. And uh, reaching out for him, constantly helping him, and not seeing anything and Finally, just saying enough's enough. And uh, again, Tommy kept praying for him. And uh, he made a profession of faith. His life has changed. Uh, he's trying to do his best. I mean, he's not perfect. But he's off the drugs and he's taking care of a family and took care of everything he owed people. He got his license back, got him a vehicle and, and uh, doing pretty well at this time. And so if God can do that for him, God can do it for any one of them. It's just it's so hard, you know, dealing with their issues and trying to help them. But you know what? God's interested in their souls. And I know uh, one time when we had the shootout and, and the stuff that they've been stealing from the shop and the batteries that they take out of the vehicles and the vehicles they try to steal uh, it really gets frustrating and at one time I'd just like to catch one of them so I could shoot them but uh, God changed my heart on that and uh, everything you own belongs to God anyway and so now what we're trying to do is we're trying to teach them and it's going to take a lot of work it's going to take a lot of people to help that work and so if we do try to do this rescue mission thing uh, we pray that God would send people in uh, to help to work it and that we could see souls saved amen so pray with us in that and uh, we'll see what happens and we'll keep you updated all right we're in uh, Leviticus chapter 14 I'll be honest with you I'll be glad to get through Leviticus uh, kind of uh, hard to get through, but we'll get through it. <laughs> Amen. A lot of reading. Chapter 14, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall go forth out of the camp, and the priest shall look, and behold, if the plague of the leprosy be healed in the leper. And, uh, Hang on one second. Let me look back at something here. Okay. And uh, then the, shall the priest for him that is to be cleansed, two birds alive and clean, and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop. And the priest shall command 
that one of the birds be killed in the earth in, in an earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it and the cedar wood and, scar and the scarlet and the hyssop and shall dip them in the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times and shall pronounce him clean and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. And he that is to be cleansed shall wash his clothes and shave off his hair, wash himself in water that he may be clean. And after that, he shall come into the camp and shall tarry abroad out of his tent seven days. But it shall be on the seventh day that he shall shave all his hair off his head and his beard and his eyebrows, even all, the, all his hair, he shall shave off. And he shall wash his clothes. Also, he shall wash his flesh in water and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day, he shall take two he lambs without blemish and one ewe lamb of the first year without blemish and three tenths deals of fine flour for a meat offering mingled with oil and one log of oil. And the priest that maketh him clean shall present the man that is to be made clean and those things before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall take one of one he lamb and offer him for a trespass offering and the log of oil and wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. And as he laid the lamb in the place, he shall kill the sin offering and the burnt offering in the holy place. For as the sin offering is the priest, so is the trespass offering. It is most holy. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and the priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. The priest shall take some, some of the log of oil and pour it into the palm of his left hand. And the priest shall dip his right finger in the oil that is in his left shall sprinkle of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord. And of the rest of the oil that is in his hand shall the priest put upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed and upon the thumb of the right hand and upon the great toe of his right foot upon the, the blood of the trespass offering. And the remnant of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall pour upon the head of him that is to be cleansed. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord. And the priest shall offer the sin offering and make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed from his uncleanness. And afterward he shall kill the burnt offering. And the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the meat offering upon the altar. And the priest shall make an atonement for him and he shall be clean. And if he be poor and cannot get so much, then he shall take one lamb for a trespass offering to be weighed, to make an atonement for him, one tenth deal of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering and a log of oil, and two turtle doves or two young pigeons as he is able to get. And the one shall be a sin offering, the other a burnt offering. And he shall bring them on the eighth day for his cleansing unto the priest, unto the door of the tabernacle, the congregation before the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering and the log of oil. The priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall kill the lamb of the trespass offering. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering and put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed and upon the the thumb of his right hand and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour of the oil into the palm of his own left hand, and the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put 
of the oil that is in his hand, upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of the right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot, upon the place of the blood of the trespass offering. And the rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall put upon the head of him that is to be cleansed, and make atonement before the Lord. And he shall offer the one of the turtle doves, or of the young pigeons, such as he can get, even such as he is able to get, the one for a sin offering, the other for a burnt offering, with the meat offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is the law of him in whom is the plague of leprosy, whose hand is not able to get that which pertaineth to his cleansing. Amen. That's a lot of, a lot of work. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When you be come into the land of Canaan, which I give to you for a possession, and I put the plague of leprosy in the house of the land of your possession, and he that owneth the house shall come and tell the priest, saying, It seemeth to me there is, as it were, a plague in the house. Then the priest shall command that they empty the house before the priest go into it to see the plague that all that is in the house be not made unclean and afterward the priest shall go in to see the house and he shall look on the plague and behold that the plague be in the walls of the house with hollow straits greenish or reddish which in sight are lower than the wall then the priest shall go out of the house to the door of the house and shut up the house seven days and the priest shall come again on the seventh or come again the seventh day, and shall look and behold that the plague be spread in the walls of the house. Then the priest shall command that they take away the stones in which the plague is, they shall cast them into an unclean place without the city. And he shall cause the house to be scraped within round about. And they shall pour out the dust that they scrape off without the city into an unclean place. They shall take other stones and put them in the place of, of the stones. And they shall take another, take other mortar and shall plaster the house. And if the plague shall, if the plague come again and break out in the house after that he hath taken away the stones and after he has scraped the house and after it is plastered, then the priest shall come and look, and behold, if the plague be spread in the house, it is a fretting leprosy in the house, it is unclean. And he shall break down the house, the stones of it, and the timber thereof, and all the more of the house. He shall carry them forth out of the city into an unclean place. Moreover, he that goeth into the house, all the while that it is shut up, shall be unclean until the evening. And he that lieth in the house shall wash his clothes. He that eateth in the house shall wash his clothes. And if the priest shall come in and look upon it, and behold, the plague hath not spread in the house after the house was plastered, then the priest shall pronounce the house clean, because the plague is healed. And he shall take to cleanse the house two birds and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop, and he shall kill the one of the birds in an earthen vessel over running water. And he shall take the cedar wood and the hyssop and the scarlet and the living bird, dip them in the blood of the slain bird in the running water and sprinkle the house seven times. And he shall cleanse the house with the blood of the bird and with the running water, with the living bird, with the cedar wood and with the hyssop and with the scarlet. But he shall let go the living bird out of the city into the open fields and make an atonement for the house and it shall be clean. This is the law for all manner of plague of leprosy and skull and for the leprosy of the garment and of the house and for a rising and for a scab and for a bright spot to teach when it is unclean and when it is clean. This is the law of leprosy. <coughs> Amen. There's some words there I didn't look up yet that I'd like to, and 
uh, when I do, I'll get back with you, share them with you. But that's a read on the law of leprosy, amen? The next one goes into, and we won't have time for that this evening, the next one goes into the uncleanness of men and their cleansing. And uh, there's a, a lot in there, so I don't want to start it until we can read it tomorrow night, Lord willing. But what I'd like to do now, I'd like to go back to Psalm chapter 1 and just read a few psalms tonight. Amen. The one that I memorized, I memorized it years ago, was Psalm chapter 1. Excuse me. I also uh, was working on Psalm 119. Of course, I didn't get very far, about 24 verses. You're having trouble with you cutting in and out with the whole message. It's cut now. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Since we're having an issue at the moment, they say cutting in and out. We're going to pray and sign off tonight and uh, yeah. see if we can work out what the issue is so we won't be that way tomorrow night. Amen. Let's pray. Grace, Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you for this evening. Thank you for the folks that did tune in. And I pray, Father, Lord, that you would bless them. Lord, help us in our infirmities. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' precious name we pray and ask these things. Amen. All right. Well, God bless and good night.